Hello and welcome to our first installment of Tech Tips. My name is Byron Starnes, Software Application Specialist with Struxsoft Solutions. And I'm here to talk to you today about how we can get panel weights showing on our bill of material. So the first thing we'll have to do is add an actual linear weight calculation onto these studs. If we look here, we don't really have anything of the sort out of the box, right? So I'm going to open this family up for editing and I'm going to add a parameter to it. We're going to add weight. We're dealing with a uh, structural discipline because we're going to be talking about weight per unit length here. And I'm going to group this under structural. Alright. And now we'll have to input the value for our linear weights. In my case here, I'm dealing in kilograms of force per meter because I have a metric template. If we're dealing in Imperial, we're just talking about pounds of force per foot. Same thing, it's just as easy to set up. Hit OK. And now we just simply load this into the project. I'm going to overwrite this guy. And if I look at my type properties now, we see the weight value. The linear weight value. What does this mean for our bill of material? Well, let's take a look. So if I simply select my bill of material, and I just have a view here for the bill material because this is all we're really talking about now. And I go to that sheet. We see calculated values for all of those members for weight. I did cheat earlier. I did add it for the top and bottom tracks. So you do see those also. And we have the full panel weight included. And that's it. Thank you for joining me. Until our next tech tip, this was Byron Starnes. Enjoy.